The discourse at Isigili, Isigili Sutta. Thus have I heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was living on Isigili mountain near Rajagaha. Then he addressed the monks, saying, O monks, Mante, venerable sir, replied those monks, in assent to the Blessed One. Thereupon he said this, Do you monks see this Vibhara mountain? Yes, Bhante. There was another name, monks, for this Vibhara mountain, another designation. Do you monks see this Pandava mountain? Yes, Bhante. There was another name, monks, for this Pandava mountain, another designation. Do you monks see this Vipula mountain? Yes, Bhante. There was another name, monks, for this Vipula mountain, another designation. Do you monks see this Gijakuta mountain? Yes, Bhante. There was another name, monks, for this Gijakuta mountain, another designation. Do you monks see this Isegili mountain? This has been the very name, monks, the very designation for this Isegili mountain. In the past, monks, 500 Pachaka Buddhas lived for a long time on this Isegili mountain. As they were entering the mountain, they were visible, but once they have entered, they were invisible. People seeing this remarked, This mountain swallows these seers, Isigilati. Hence the name Isigili came into being. I will tell you, monks, the names of the Pachaka Buddhas. I will reveal, monks, the names of the Pachaka Buddhas. Listen. Pay close attention, I will speak. Yes, Bhante, replied the monks. The Blessed One said, Arita, monks, was a Pachaka Buddha who lived for a long time on this Isigiri mountain. Uparita, Tagarasiki, Yasasi, Sudasana, Piyadasi, Gandhara, Pindola, Upasaba, Nitha, Tata, Sutava, Bavitata, Monks was a Pacheka Buddha who lived for a long time on this Isigili mountain. The names of those supreme beings who are free from sorrow and desire, who have overcome their passions, and have individually attained enlightenment, noble among men, I make known. Listen to me. Arita, Uparita, Tagarasiki, Yasasi, Sudasana, Yadasi, the enlightened, Gandhara, Pindola, and Upasaba, Nitha, Tatha, Sutava, Bhavitatta, Sumba, Subha, Mithula, Atama, and then Megha, Aniga, Sudatha, are Pachaka Buddhas whose desire for becoming, reliving, is destroyed, Hingu and Hinga of great power. The two sages Jali and Ataka, then Kosala, the enlightened one, then Subahu, Upanimisa, Nemisa, Tantachita, Satcha, Tatha, Viraja, and Pandita, Kala, Upakala, Vijita, and Jita, Anga, and Panga, and Gutijita, Pasi, remove defilements, the root of suffering, Uparajita, conqueror of Mara's might, Satta, Pavatta, Sarabanga, Lomahamsa, Uchangamaya, Asita, Anavasa, Manomaya, and Banduma, the destroyers of pride, Tadadimutta, Vimala, and Ketuma, Ketumbaraga, and Matanga, Arya, then Achuta, and Achuta Gamabhyamaka, Sumangala, Dabila, Supatitita, Asayaha, Kamabirata, and Sorata, Duranaya, Sangha, and Uchaya, and then the sage Saihad of sublime energy, Ananda, Nanda, Upananda, the twelve Pachaka Buddhas, Paradvaja, bearing his last body, Bodhi, Mahanama, and then Uttara, Kesi, Siki, Sundara, and Bharadvaja, Tisa, Upatisa, Upasidari, the destroyer of the bonds of becoming, and Sidari, the destroyer of craving.
Mangala was the last free Pachaka Buddha. Usaba, who cut away the ensnaring root of suffering. Upanita, who attained state of calm, Nibbana. Uposatha, Sundara, and Sachanama. Jeta, Jayanta, Paduma, and Upala. Padumuttara, Rakita, and Pabatta. Manatada, Sobita, Pataraga, and the Pachaka Buddha Tanha, well freed in mind. These and others are Pachaka Buddhas of great power whose desires for becoming, reliving, are destroyed. Do salute these great sages of immeasurable virtue who have gone beyond all attachment and attained Parinibbana.